Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and in case you missed it, Bamboo Lab just rolled out an update for their Maker Lab image to 3D app. I figured it was perfect time to give it a spin. I've been testing out some other software that takes an image and converts it into a 3D model. So the timing just couldn't be better. I first decided on the type of models to create and I ended up with some Dungeons and Dragons monsters. The images from their library are just super high quality and they have all shapes and sizes. And after a little bit of browsing, I had just over a dozen monsters to use. Now what's great about the Maker Lab app is that it's completely free until you decide to export your model. Exporting currently costs just two coins, which is a huge markdown from their usual tin. Earning coins is simple. All you have to do is create an account, fill out your profile, and you'll start earning. I think that you're gonna be pretty impressed with the results, so let's quickly go through all the models. First, I'll show you the image that I uploaded and then the 3D model so that we have something to compare to. So grab a cold one and let's jump right in. All right, the way to find the app is to go into the Maker Lab page, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see right here where it says image to 3D model. All right, as you can see down here at the bottom, these are the different models that I've tested, and I'm gonna go through them individually. First up, you have this, this is the image that I uploaded, and here are the results that I got. As you can see, it does a pretty good job. Let's try another one. Got some pretty good detail here. Let's see what the model looks like. Another awesome job. I honestly don't know how they're doing this. We got a rabid monkey. This one came out okay. I mean, you can see that it does lack some detail with, you know, as far as the, the 3D sculpting goes. But I mean, from going from an image, it's, it's just crazy to me. thought this one was interesting. Um, you'll see the results here in a sec. It looks right off the bat, looks really great. But when I changed the view, <laughs> it put the little worm right in front of it. But I mean, this is still a really cool model. I might actually print this. This is pretty awesome. I thought this was one of my favorites right here. I like this guy. Results pretty good. The finger's a little funky right there, but I mean, I could fix that in Bamboo Studio, just cut it off. The hand is, hand's a little funky. AI has some problems with the hands though. This little detailed deer right here didn't come out very well, but you know, that can always be removed too. Next up, looks like another kind of beholder style monster. Came out pretty good. Missing missing some detail in the eye and stuff, but I mean, can't get a whole lot better, I guess. This one was my daughter's favorite, of course. <laughs> Showed her this picture and she was like, yeah, I want that. I mean, obviously in Photoshop, you just go in there, remove this part of the, of the image. I don't know why it decided to curl that over, but um, yeah, that's what it did. I wonder what the result would be if I Photoshop that out from the image. Wanted to make sure I gave it a lot of complex stuff like these little squid legs right here, just to see how well, I mean, yeah, this one's not attached, but that's fine. I, you can just remove it in Bamboo Studio, but this is pretty good. Next one up. This monster is pretty gross, but let's see what the results are. I mean, pretty good. I'm not sure what this kind of monster is. Again, another really great job. Two more left. I wanted to come across and show you one that had an, did have a bigger issue than the worm one, just based off of the way the image looked. And you can see, I mean, it did a fairly good job. I've tried this similar image on other third party um, model creators. Oh, it's got a little missing thing right here. 
and it does a really bad job of this one. The dragon one, this is one where I had an issue. So I had an issue with, I believe this thing, it should have been attached to the neck. And oh, well, maybe, maybe that's right. It's just not completely attached. It's going off of here, but that's a pretty good dragon model. It's just crazy to me. This one's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, I can see it's pretty grunged. But yeah, I don't I don't think I would print this. The jaws floating here. I mean, it is what it is. It's not it's not entirely horrible though. Little bird man. Really good job on that. And then obviously my favorite right here. I exported it as you can see. This one is like I mean, look at the detail of the teeth, just the spikes, the tentacles. It's, it's freaking awesome. So you can also change the mesh right here. So you don't see the texture. Um, yep. So that's basically it. All right, let's go ahead and download a model so you can see how it works. It's actually pretty awesome. Once you agree to use the two coins to download it, it will export it as an object file. This is a 3D model, so you can just download it, then open it up in Bamboo Studio. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is import the object file by clicking on this button right here. After that, you're prompted with a few different options. Basically what is happening here is not only the 3D model is being imported, but also the texture file. So if you have an AMS, you can print it in multicolor. This model has a ton of colors, but you can change the amount of colors down to only four if you want. To have a little fun, let's go ahead and see what happens if we wanna print this model in 16 colors. To have a little fun, let's go ahead and see what happens if we print this model into 15 colors. If I hit slice, we can see that the print is going to be a whopping 4 days. There will be nearly 3600 filament changes and a filament waste of over 700 grams. And the total print size will be over 1000 grams. That's just crazy to me. Let's go ahead and re-import the model and this time we'll change the colors down to 4. Alright, after changing the colors down to 4, the model honestly doesn't look all that bad. However, if I slice the model and take a look at the filament damage, you can see there's still going to be over 900 filament changes. Anyways, the main reason I'm here is to see the quality of the print, so I'm going to just print it in a single color of white. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just remove all the filaments over here on the left menu until all I have left is my AMS slot 1 with the white color loaded. Let's send this to the printer and see how it turns out. Alright, the model is now printed and I have to say, I am pretty impressed. Trying to create something like this just 8 months ago wasn't even possible. Now with this latest upgrade from Maker Lab, we can get some pretty amazing results. I have to admit it does lack some fine details, but I'm sure this will come sooner or later. And there you have it. Maker Lab is definitely making some amazing progress with all of their cool labs to play with. If you haven't checked any of them out yet, I would highly recommend it. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It means the world to me. I have a lot of new content coming out very soon. Again, my name is Nick. Have a great day and happy printing.